Hello everyone, welcome to Course Creel. Hope everyone is doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss about another type of arc welding that is gas metal arc welding. So let's begin the discussion. Gas metal arc welding is a fusion welding where consumable electrode is used for the welding purpose with shielding gases. The basic difference between gas tungsten arc welding and gas metal arc welding is, is the use of electrode only. In gas tungsten arc welding, a non-consumable electrode or we can say tungsten electrode is used for the welding purpose. But in gas metal arc welding, a consumable electrode is used for welding purpose. So let's see what is gas metal arc welding exactly is. So in gas metal arc welding, this is a particular type of welding in which an electric arc is formed between continuously fed consumable electrode wire and weld pool. So the electric arc is formed between workpiece and solid wire electrode which is fed through welding torch at controlled speed. And a shielding gas which flow through the torch it act as a shielding or it act as a protection and form a covering over weld puddle to protect the metal from the atmospheric gases or atmospheric contamination. In gas metal arc welding, a consumable electrode is in use for the welding purpose and that consumable electrode is not coated with the flux, so there is no provision of slag here. So, for the protection of weld pool as well as for the workpiece, shielding gases are used as the protective covering. The selection of shielding gases depend on the type of base metal which is going to weld. So, for welding non-ferrous metal like copper, aluminium, stainless steel etc, argon gas is used as the protective shield. And argon gas is the inert gas, so this process is called metal inert gas welding or it is also called MIG. For welding of ferrous metal, a mixture of carbon dioxide and argon or only carbon dioxide is used as the shielding gas for the protective covering. Carbon dioxide is an active gas, so this process is called metal active gas welding or MAG welding. In gas metal arc welding, during process, a direct current power source is employed with the electrode positive polarity that, that is also known as DCEP and this DCEP I have explained in previous lesson. So the direct current power source is mainly employed with electrode positive polarity to form a stable arc and maintain control during the arc generation as well as during the welding process. It provides stable arc. It also provides greater heat input to cathodic base metal as well as it is helpful in good penetration and also provide fluid weld pool. Before going to learn about the working principle of gas metal arc welding, we should know what are the main equipments of the welding process. Because if you don't know about the equipment, you are not able to understand the working process properly. So the basic equipments are same here. The first equipment is power source. Basically DC power source is used in this particular type of welding. Then there is a wire feeder and this wire feeder is used to feed the electrode wire for the welding purpose. Then welding torch assembly. So welding torch assembly is helps to generate the arc to put the wire into the weld pool for the welding purpose or for to form a weld or to form a welding joint then the shielding gas cylinder with regulator so the shielding gas cylinder will provide shielding gases to form a protective covering for the weld pool so let's begin with the first equipment that is power source so a dc power source with constant voltage characteristics is used for gas metal arc welding purpose and this particular type of DC power source provide self-regulation of arc. So here we are considering only DC power source to provide power for the welding. Now the next equipment is wire feeder. 
Wire feeder is mainly used to feed the consumable electrode wire for the welding purpose. As you can see in this diagram, this diagram is representing the number of equipments used in gas metal arc welding. So the first equipment was DC power source. So here this particular DC power source we have discussed in previous slide and here the next equipment which we are going to discuss that is the wire feeder. So here this particular part is representing the wire feeder or we can say this rod is representing the machine fed wire rod. So with the help of one machine we fed wire or electrode for the purpose of welding. So here you can see this diagram. This picture is representing the actual picture of wire feeder. The wire with the help of machine is feed into the nozzle so you can see this is the gas nozzle and this gas nozzle has a provision to feed the wire for the welding or to the weld pool so we can perform welding easily so this part is representing the gas nozzle inside this gas nozzle there is a contact tube and inside that contact tube we can feed the electric or the, we can feed the electrode wire and this, this particular process has been performed by the operator and this feed is the automatic feed or the pre-decided feed. So on the basis of requirement we can feed the wire which is already decided by the operator. So here let's discuss what is wire feeder is. So wire feeder feed consumable wire electrode into the arc zone. So you can see this particular zone is represented as the arc zone. You can see arc, shielding gases, molten weld pool. So with the help of this nozzle, this electrode or the wire is fed into the arc zone to perform the welding. So wire feeder feed consumable electrode or wire electrode into the arc zone and it maintain the feed speed. This particular feeder, this particular diagram is representing the wire feeder diagram. So here with the help of, you can see these are the wire. So this particular uh, wire feeder is also maintain the feed speed constant as it is preset by the operator. So the speed of this particular wire feeding is mainly preset by the operator. And during the variation of arc behavior, it fed required amount of wire only. And this wire feeder unit consists of wire reel. You can see these are the wire reels and wire reels holder. You can see these are the wire reels holder which held the wire reel and set of rollers also. So rollers you cannot see but here in this particular diagram you can see the set of rollers. So it has a set of roller which is driven by the motor and these rollers are helpful for the feeding purpose. So these rollers are mainly operated by the separate motor. And these rollers which are equipped here, so these rollers drawn out the wire from the wire reel and feed in the torch and this speed can be controlled by the control knob. So there is a control knob provided here which control the speed of the wire. So these are the different part you can see the wire jog, wire feed speed controller, this is the control knob actually wire feeder from here, remote control connections. So these are the other equipment or supportive part of the wire feeder. With the help of these parts, we can feed the wire into the arc zone for the welding purpose. So the next part is welding torch assembly. So this particular part, the part in the middle is representing the welding torch assembly. This is the assembly of different part. So basically welding torch assembly consist different channels to supply consumable electrode wire and this is the consumable electrode wire which is passing through the welding torch assembly and it also passes shielding gases into the welding gun. So it has different channels to supply electrode as well as shielding gases to the welding gun. It also consists different channels for the circulation of coolant as this is this particular area 
is having lots of heat there is a huge heat will be produced here in this particular area so it needs some coolant also when there is a condition of overheating happen so it also consists different channel for the circulation of coolant or water for the cooling purpose in case of overheating and a control switch also provided in this particular assembly it provide uh, control flow of wire as well as control flow of gases so there is a control switch is the requirement or it is necessary because we need the control flow of wire as well as control flow of shielding gases for particular or for a perfect welding as you can see this is the consumable electrode so consumable electrode are used to weld ferrous metals like cast iron etc and other type of metals as well as non ferrous metal like carbon steel stainless steel aluminum copper nickel etc so for steel this particular wire or electrode is mainly made up of copper coating and this copper coating helps to avoid rust and corrosion and diameter of this electrode wire will be around 0.8 to 2 mm this is a thin wire and these are there are uh, two types of electrode wires are generally in use for gas metal arc welding and these wires are solid wires as well as another type of wire is tubular wire or hollow wire which is filled with the metallic powder so there are two types of electrode wires are in use which is not coated with the flux one is the solid wire and other is the tubular wire which is filled with the metal powder and here you need to know this wire is not coated with the flux that is why we are using shielding gases for the protection purpose and the fourth part is inert gas cylinder assembly or shielding gas assembly so basically we are using inert gas this process is called mig or metal inert gas welding or if we are, we are using carbon dioxide or the mixture of carbon dioxide and argon so it will be metal active gas welding so whatever gas we are using this particular cylinder will filled with that particular gas so this is a shielding gas cylinder assembly so it has number of parts so the cylinder consists gas and there are other parts like tubes and pipes and other channels which are supplying the shielding gases to the gas nozzle or we can say to the welding torch assembly so it will transfer further to the weld puddle or uh, into the arc zone so here if we see the working principle so during working the electric arc is produced by the passage of current through conductive and ionized shielding gas and here the shielding gas is coming from the cylinder which is passing through the gas nozzle and then it will transfer to the arc zone so this is the arc zone and wherever we want to or wherever we have to weld and wherever there is a arc will produce so this arc will be covered by the shielding gas so this is the protective covering so the electric arc is mainly produced by the passage of current so this will be the passage so the it will be produced by the passage of current through conductive and ionized shielding gas then electric arc is produced as well as it will establish between the workpiece and the tip of the electrode so suppose this is the tip of the electrode and this is the base metal or this is the workpiece so the arc will be established between the electrode and the base metal or the workpiece and the base metal first it will get melt by the heat application which is generated by the arc initially the arc will be generated here or it will generate between the tip of the electrode and base metal and base metal will get melt first once the arc is established and uh, weld pool is settled so this particular area you can see this is the molten weld pool so once the weld pool is settled then torch will move forward so, suppose this direction is the forward direction so this torch will move in this particular direction only and sometime base metal will move in opposite direction so once the arc is settled or once the weld pool is settled then torch will move in forward direction and it will move 
along the joint and this wire this electrode wire will get melt when it come in contact with the arc and it is protected by the shielding gases and it will fill the weld pool so here once the arc is generated this wire will melt and it will fill the weld pool and sometime to enhance the traveling speed also we can add hydrogen gases uh, hydrogen gases are the reactive gases which are helpful to increase the traveling speed so in this particular condition during the working the arc will be produced by the passage of current through the conductive and ionized shielding gases which is coming from the assembly this particular assembly or from the gas nozzle and this gas nozzle is receiving the gas from the inert gas cylinder and after that the arc when the arc is established between the workpiece this is the workpiece and the tip of the electrode the base metal will get melt in this this condition and it will generate the arc after that once the arc will be settled and weld pool will be settled the torch will move in the forward direction or in whatever direction it is decided to move along the joint so suppose this here at this part we have to join so you can see this is the welded metal already so in this direction our torch is moving so when it it when this particular uh, electrode it will come in contact with the arc it will melt and it will fill the weld pool so this is how the welding has to be performed with the help of gas metal arc welding now let's see why gas metal arc welding is most preferable welding for different application and what are the main advantages of gas metal arc welding so in this category the first point is it is suitable for all position of welding which is possible with short circuit and pearl spray mode of metal transfer the second is it is suitable because of higher welding speed compared to other types of welding like smaw tig etc it is suitable because it has deeper penetration due to high current deposition or high current density high metal deposition rate is another advantage uh, it is suitable because it has less distortion due to high welding speed it is suitable for both type of sheets like thick and thin sheets it has no provision of slag or almost negligible slag produced during the welding the arc can be monitored and controlled in a proper way or in better manner and it is well suited for mechanized welding so these are the advantage of gas metal arc welding now let's see what are the main limitations or disadvantages of gas metal arc welding so when we perform welding so while welding this particular type of welding require proper protection and it is not suitable for open areas or open yards this particular welding is only so suitable for closed areas now let's see what are the main applications of gas metal arc welding or in which sector or in which field this arc welding is suitable so it is suitable for fabrication industries it is suitable for automobile sectors for different types of manufacturing and works and it is more suitable for thin section where the thickness varies from 1 to 2 mm because of arc control feature we can control the arc in very proper manner or in better way in gas metal arc welding that is why it is suitable for thin section it is suitable for thick sections also but there are some other weldings also which are suitable for thick sections but gas metal arc welding is more suitable for welding of thin sections so this was all about concepts of gas metal arc welding introduction equipment used working principle everything so hope this information is beneficial for you for your competitive exams as well as for your curriculum exam if you like the video press the like button if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe the channel immediately and press the bell icon so you will get all the notifications about the channel and if you want to share this video with your friends and your known people you can share with them for their benefit and see you in next video